<laughs> Checked in today, uh, and there's a 75 year old man. You're so old. No, in front of us. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're just coming back from our own shit. So okay, okay. Up. You okay. guys are geared up, and one of you, you can pick who tells your story. We check in, and this guy is an old white man. He looks like Robert Durst from the <laughs> Jinx. Yes. This shriveled old man. Yeah. He's got in his hand like a seven year old Asian girl. <laughs> <laughs> and see something, say something, but at the same time you go, I don't know, I don't want to be a narc, but it's creepy. And our friend, she works with human trafficking. And she's like, yeah, should we say something? And we didn't until we talked to the front desk lady. And she's like, yeah, he said it was his daughter. He's 75. Oh, oh shit. Seven. Okay, this is fucked up. Now it we is come over fucked here, up. and the bartender, Dave bartender Dom here, says they were sitting here. We're the only people here, them and us. And when they leave, I say, "Hey, is there something?" She goes, "Yeah, she was saying things that were inordinately out of age for a, a, a small child." She was asking, "Is this a stripper pole?" To the people, she's like, "No, it's for karaoke." But do people dance on it? Do they wear bikinis? And, she, she, and then when she came back, she goes, are you, are you transgender? Which pronoun do you use? This is a seven-year-old fucking Asian girl. And she's like, she actually, she was creeped out alone to the place. She took a picture of them subtly. And all right, now once all of us are on board, all right, let's be narcs and call the cops. Three hours later, as it takes yeah. the cops yeah, to show bizarre. up, yeah, yeah. Yeah. one shows up, about to go to bed, and uh, oh, cops are here, let's go out. And we go, yeah, that, here's what happened. And the cop is, uh, I go, are you like trained in this? He goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> Because we're comics. Yeah. Yeah. Right? right? Yep. What's up? Same. 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 the Same. 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 The guy, the creepy guy with the kid. Uh, uh, so he's banging on the door and we're listening and going, what the fuck? Why should I open the door? And I'm like, oh, this is a standoff situation. Wait, can I ask a question? Yeah. When you were listening through the door, did you do the reverse glass situation where like you no, had- No, I did. Yes, <laughs> yes, I did. Eventually, plastic cup. They okay, don't have fucking actual glasses. Does it glass, work? Right? So, I don't know. <laughs> so I did plastic cup. And it's like five, six minutes. We're timing where, okay, now he won't open the door. He's gone silent. We look out for the cop. He's backed up waiting for backup. And we're like, oh, fuck. Like, I'm listening with the cop thinking, are bullets going to come through the fucking <laughs> Directly in your eardrum. Door? Absolutely, like, yeah. this is creepy. And that, so I sneak out to the front desk, and she's like, yeah, he keeps calling, saying, why should I open the door? And she goes, it's suspicious that you won't open the door, but they'll tell you when you open the door. Turns out, after all this, well, he does have a birth certificate for the kid. Why? I know. Yeah. From Vietnam. <laughs> probably he had a mail order bride oh, and had a fucking oh, daughter. Words. The cops left. Where they were just as confused. Like, yeah, he's legally, he's got a fucking problem. Like, I mean, no problem, oh. but it's fucked up. And I go, we did the right thing by calling. Yes. So absolutely. So yes. we just came from that. Your story's way better. <laughs>